Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And we hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, here in northwest Georgia, it is very cold. It's going to be cold all week this week. So we thought we wanted a good comfort meal. And so we're going to be doing a beef stroganoff. And we're going to be cooking it in the crock pot today. And so uh, our ingredients for this, we're doing a, a different recipe that we've never tried before. And so it's got a few different ingredients. But it's going to start off with uh, stewed meat. It's going to have some beef broth, egg noodles. We'll be using just a little bit of this red wine cooking wine, some mustard, Worcestershire sauce, diced onion, sliced mushrooms, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and one pack of Lipton onion soup mix, paprika, salt, pepper, and onion powder, and oh, and also one other ingredient, uh, there'll be a little bit of sour cream in it. And so that'll be all of our ingredients. Maria's gonna help me with this meal today, and she's gonna brown the uh, stew meat first for us. Uh, we always like to brown it before we put it in the crock pot, and my crock pot had been sitting outside in our pantry area, and so it was a little bit cold, so I brought it in here and put it on warm, so it would go ahead and start warming up for us, Marie. But we definitely got some cold weather. It's going to be extremely cold tonight. And so this will make a great meal. We're going to be going off. We've got a few things that we're going to go do today, and when we get back, all we'll have to do is cook the noodles, and just a couple of steps to finish this up and it'll be great. Okay, so this looks like a good recipe. We're gonna give it a try. We love beef stroganoff. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were young and yeah. first married, yeah. uh, back then Hamburger Helper was very popular. And very I, economical. And I don't think I'd ever had beef stroganoff in my life. Uh, and so Marie and I started cooking, well Marie cooked a Hamburger Helper Beef stroganoff was one of my favorite flavors. Mm -hmm. And now we had several that we liked, but beef stroganoff was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I would eat that stuff like it was going out style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I know I'm gonna love beef stroganoff and hopefully I like this recipe. Let us get the camera repositioned here and we'll get started. We're gonna brown the meat and our cast iron skillet because it does brown it up just a little bit better. This is my uh, stew beef, and I, it's a pound and a half, and I'm just going to brown it a little bit before I put it in my crock pot. And I already have my pan over here with my oil in it, getting heated up.
it's brown enough, so now I'm going to um, transfer it to my crock pot. Alright, I'm going to put a little uh, red, red wine vinegar in my um, pan and I'll deglaze it. So Kevin's going to finish the rest. Okay, let me get started on it then. Okay, there's our beef and looks real good. Put it all down in the bottom here. And this is all the scrapings off the bottom of the pan. Add that to it. Okay, next thing I'm going to add to it, I'm going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in. And I'm using, uh, I'm going to use a full jar, uh, six ounces of sliced mushrooms. And we have these out in our pantry, so I'm using these and still using fresh ones. And I'll just spread them around in there a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to put this. I'm going to go ahead. Now, this is optional. You don't have to. But I'm going to go ahead and put one can of cream of mushroom soup. And this is a 10-ounce can. Next, I'm going to put some beef broth in it, and it calls for okay, it calls for two cups of beef broth, but I'm only going to put about a cup and a half in it right now, since I did add the cream of mushroom soup to it. Okay, there's one cup, and now about a half a cup. And at the end, when it's cooking, if it uh, needs to be thickened up any, I'll add just a little more beef broth with some cornstarch and thicken it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add an onion. This is one small onion that's been diced up. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of mustard to it. Okay. Then I'm going to add about a tablespoon or maybe two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm going to add, this is a, two teaspoons of paprika. And this one is optional. You do not have to put this in if you don't want to. And I also want to put some salt, pepper, and a garlic powder. And then my last ingredient for here is I'm going to put one pack of Lipton onion soup mix. This Lipton onion soup mix really smells good. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to steer this round just a little bit to get some of these items incorporated together. Okay. Next, I'm going to put the lid on. And we're going to cook this on low for about six to eight hours. If you want to cook it on high, you can cook it for a little less time, maybe just four or five hours. But since we have time today, I'm going to set this one on low and just let it cook real slow. Uh, since we have time today, I'm going to set this on low and go ahead and cook it for probably the full eight hours because that will really make that beef tender, and that's what we want with our uh, beef stroganoff. So we'll see you back this afternoon. I'll cook the noodles up and get the uh, everything ready for it this afternoon when we get back. Okay, everyone, we're back. Uh, when we walked in the house, it just smelled fantastic today. Marie, what did you think about it? Oh, it did. It smelled great. Uh, anyway, Marie is fixing to make us a salad and get ready for our meal. I did open this up already and I've tasted of it, and the meat is good and tender. It's been cooking for uh, almost five hours, but it has been on high most of that time, and it looks real good. It tasted real tender, but the, uh, the gravy part of it is a little thin, so what we're going to do, just look how good that looks. Uh, looks great. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just a little bit of beef broth and I'm going to add some cornstarch to it and make a slurry and let it cook a little longer with that cornstarch to uh, help thicken it up. And I'll just stir this up real good. Stir that in, and hopefully this will thicken it on up so it'll be real good and thick for us. It actually already seems like it's a little thicker since it's cooled down just a little bit. Okay, so we'll let this continue to cook maybe another 15 minutes. While it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get our noodles started so that they'll be ready. And Marie is making us a salad. And so we'll be ready to eat here in just a little while and we can do a taste test. I stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make Yeah. 
Okay, everyone, we've got this completed now, and uh, we're going to be having, besides our beef stroganoff, we're going to be having a salad. Uh, what was the name of this cake again, Marie? Butter pecan cake? Yes. Butter pecan cake and iced tea. So let me open this up. I hope it has thickened up a little bit. If it's not good and thick for you when you first uh, open it up, uh, yeah, it has thickened up some. If you let it sit and cool down a little bit, it'll be a lot thicker. Boy, that sure does look good, don't it, Marie? Yes, yeah, and the smell is really good, too. Mm. Okay, let me get us some. I'm going to try to do this. Okay, and see if I can bring you a spoonful all the way over there, Marie. I may have to hold your plate. Okay. Marie, I might put a little more than that in your plate. I don't think I quite got you enough. Okay. There you go. Oh, wow, that does look good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and put a little parsley on here. That parsley don't come out of this container good, does it? Okay. Oh, we have some more, I think, in that other drawer. Okay. Okay, Marie. You want to do taste test first? Sure. I've already tasted of the beef, and I know the beef is real good and tender, but I hadn't had any of the, uh, the uh, salts and gravy. Oh, Marie, I forgot the main thing. We're supposed to put our sour cream in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, everyone, I almost forgot something very important, the sour cream. Now, you do not have to put sour cream in, and Marie's already tasted hers, and she said it was good without it. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit in this so that we will have sour cream in the, uh, for the rest of it. And I'm only going to put that much. If you put too much sour cream, it won't be that good. Okay, and I'll just stir this around a little bit. Let it mix in. Putting that sour cream in there gives it a little bit of a creamier color to it. Yeah. Uh, Marie, how'd you like yours just like that? I did. I like it just like that. Let me put the microphone down here so that it'll pick you up good, Marie. Uh, I said I liked mine just like it was. Okay. I'm going to get just a little bit of the gravy that's got the sour cream on it and put on top of mine too. You want some of this gravy too, Marie? We Why got not? plenty. We got <laughs> plenty. <laughs> we have got plenty over here. Okay, now we can do the taste test again. And the gravy did thicken up some. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but it definitely looks like it's thickened up some. It's good with the sour cream too. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't have any without sour cream, mm -hmm. but I did have it with sour cream, and it is very good. It's good both ways. It's got a good flavor to it. I love it. And I'm looking forward to getting a bite of this pecan cake. Not mm -hmm. pecan, but 
butter pecan cake. Butter pecan cake. Yes. Okay, this meal looks good, Marie. We're going to go in here and enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the salad, the cake, and the beef stroganoff is going to be a fine meal tonight. And uh, we're both tired. We've been gone all day long. <laughs> and we were up at the hospital. And so it'll wear you out pretty good being up there for a long time. But uh, we appreciate y'all watching our video. Hope you enjoyed this. If you try this beef stroganoff, let me know how you like it. Uh, don't do like I do and forget to put sour cream in because <laughs> you want that sour cream in there, okay? So y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And uh, like Calvin said, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and bye. Have a great week. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see from up here.